On a day of dramatic and surreal images, this is perhaps one of the most unusual. A lifeboat crew arriving at a block of flats in St Asif to help a frightened elderly woman to safety. On the other side of the river, police and rescue crews calling door to door discovered the body of an elderly woman in her flooded home. Her death is being treated as unexplained. Some victims grab their most treasured possessions to carry them far from the floodwaters. By mid-morning, the scale of the devastation was only really visible from the air, the force of the water toppling everything in its path. Once out of their homes, people were welcomed at the city's leisure centre, where the Red Cross has been taking care of the evacuees in this makeshift refuge. We've had approximately 130 people through our doors since 1 o'clock this morning. Uh, they're being given welfare. We have uh, first aid teams in there. We have RSPCA and, of course, we're working very closely with local government, which is Denmark County Council in this case. Ten miles away in Rithin, Zoe Jackson is staying with relatives tonight as her home has become a paddling pool. It happened really quick. When we left it, it was maybe an inch off the floor, but now it's just swimming. Just put everything on chairs as best we can. Put the TV upstairs and everything. Did you get Did you get a much chance to, to do that? Yeah, yeah the, the postman helped us this morning. They took all the telly upstairs for us, moved all the big stuff, put the settee on the chairs for us. They've been really helpful. The council says its defences have held, but the volume of water has taken everyone by surprise. It's since been coordinating the relief effort. I have to say the emergency planning that Demogen had in place has worked like clockwork. Their officers have called out all the right people. They've set up centres in Brynhavrid, St Asaph. They've got the Red Cross involved. They've got various people involved, the road people, the police, the everything. And to be fair, I'm really, really proud of the emergency planning people in Denbyshire in the way they've organised all this. The fire service ferried those who couldn't walk from their homes to dry land, including those with young children. Others had to use different modes of transport to escape the rising waters, despite the discomfort. Pets, including cats and dogs and even guinea pigs, were carried from affected homes. Some four-legged friends had to swim for it. A team of postmen and women helped raise the alarm here early this morning. Fingers of blame will be pointed once the waters recede. For now, those caught in the deluge will be calculating their losses.